project four. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at page 70 in your book, The Sweet, Sue and Smart Alex Story. But before we start, I need to tell you about a change in your classes, okay? This week, you will get a YouTube video today and Thursday. But from next week, okay, so from the 27th of March, Tuesday will be a YouTube video like this. But on Thursday, we're going to do a Zoom class, okay? This week, I will send you the invitations telling you the time um, and with the link to click on for the Zoom class. OK, the class will be at your normal time that you come to the academy. OK, so this week, look at your emails so you can see the invitation to the Zoom class. OK, excellent. So let's start then with page 70. We have a sweet Sue and smart Alec story. OK, we're going to listen and read the story and there are two questions okay number one where do sweet sue and smart alec go so do they go to school do they go to the supermarket where do they go and number two what's happening there this week okay so what event is happening at the place this week all right so listen read and can you answer the two questions? Write them in your book. OK, are we ready? Let's listen. Page 70, exercise one. <sighs> I feel really tired. It's been a very busy year. We need a holiday, Smart Alec. Yes, we need a complete break from detective work. I know. As soon as I finish these emails, I'll go to the travel agency and book a holiday. Where shall we go? I've always wanted to go to Las Vegas. Later. Right. I've booked it. We're leaving on Friday. Great! We'll finish all our work before we leave. Then we can forget all about work for two weeks. A few days later. Here we are in Las Vegas. I'm really looking forward to this. So am I. Oh, there's our hotel. Why are there so many people here? I don't know, but the hotel's full. We were very lucky. We got the last two rooms. After we check in, I'll have a game of golf. <laughs> I'll go and sit by the pool while you do that. OK, we'll have dinner when I get back. Yes. One thing is certain, while we're here, we won't think about detective work at all. Welcome to the 50th Animal Detectives Convention. Oh, no. Do, do, do. OK, so now we've read the story and we've listened to the story. Let's look back at the two questions. So number one, where do Sweet Sue and Smart Alec go? They're going on holiday. And where do they go? Good, Las Vegas. Have you ever been to Las Vegas? I have. It's amazing. And question number two, what's happening there this week? What event is on in the hotel? Exactly. It's the annual detectives convention. Is that good for Sweet Sue and Smart Alec? No. Why? Because they don't want to think about work. Oh, silly. 
All right, let's move on then and have a look at exercise two on page 71. All right, here we have 10 sentences. I have them written here. Okay, 10 sentences about the story, but they are all incorrect. All right, let's have a quick read through them. Number one, Sweet Sue and Smart Alec need a holiday because the weather's very bad. Number two, they want to forget all about their friends. Number three, Sweet Sue books the holiday on the internet. Number four, they leave on Saturday. Number five, they finish all their shopping before they leave. Number six, they'll be away for a month. Number seven, the hotel isn't very busy. Uh, number eight, Smart Alec wants to play tennis after they check in. Number nine, they'll go swimming when he gets back. And finally, number 10, the hotel is full of doctors. All right, so 10 sentences about the story, but they are all incorrect. So what I want you to do is pause the video, look back at the story again, and can you correct the 10 sentences? Okay, now this is not a memory test, this is not an exam, so look at the story to find the correct answers. Okay, so good luck, no cheating, all right, pause the video, and when you've finished, press pay, pay don't press pay, press play and come back for the answers. All right, so pause now. Okay, I hope you're not cheating. Did you do the exercise first? Good, well done. So let's go through the answers. All right, so number one. Sweet Sue and Smart Alec need a holiday because the weather's very bad. Uh -uh. It's not for the weather. Why do they need a holiday? Yeah, good. Look at picture number one. Good, because they are tired. Well done. So because they, oh, that one doesn't work. Let's try this one. They are tired. Good. So Sweet Sue and Smart Alec need a holiday because they are tired. They've been working a lot. Number two then, they want to forget all about their friends. Hmm, do they want to forget all about their friends? No, nobody wants to forget about their friends. What do they want to forget about? Their work, very good. They want to forget all about their work. Number three, Sweet Sue books the holiday on the internet. Not the internet, no, it is, let's change it here, at the travel agent. Okay, now a shop which sells holidays is called a travel agents, okay? So the place you go to to book a holiday. Number four, they leave on Saturday. Uh -uh. What day do they leave? Friday, very good. All right, number five, they finish all their shopping before they leave. Shopping? No. They finish all their work, good. Number six, they'll be away for a month. Will they be away for a month? No. How long are they going to be away for? Good. Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, I'm looking forward to a two-week holiday when all this is finished. <laughs> Number seven, the hotel isn't very busy. It is very busy, isn't it? So you have two options. You could put the hotel 
is very busy or the hotel is full. Full is the opposite of empty. Look at these two glasses. This one is full and this one is empty. So the hotel is full. Number eight, Smart Alec wants to play tennis after they check in. No, what sport does he want to play? Golf, very good, well done. And number nine, they'll go swimming when he gets back. Good, they're not gonna go swimming. They'll go for dinner or they'll have dinner when he gets back, good. And finally, the hotel is full of doctors not doctors, what is it full of? Detectives, of course. How many did you get correct? All of them? Well done, excellent. Okay, well that's the end of today's class. Next class on Thursday, we're going to be looking at some more grammar with first conditional. So especially for those doing Trinity 6, super important. And remember to look out for an email with your Zoom invitation for next week. Okay? Excellent. Bye, guys.